Fair enough. Okay, recording now. I won't, I won't move it up. So you're saying that Jordan Peterson sympathizes with the Nazi, the neo-Nazis of today, right? No, well, he associates with neo-Nazis of today, but he also he's also supported, uh, uh, come to the defense of uh, a neo-Nazi, Ernst Sundel. Do you know who Ernst Sundel was? Right. He's Canada's most fa- most notorious neo-Nazi. He was a German uh, citizen who was who lived here in Toronto. Jordan Peterson has defended him and criticized the Canadian government for prosecuting him. Jordan, uh, Ernst Sundel did two years here and five years in Germany for uh, for inciting racial hatred against an identifiable group, the Jews. Why would Jordan Peterson do something like that? Hmm. I don't know about that, so I can't comment. Um, I don't know anything about that. But, but are I, you a fan of Jordan Peterson's? Um, I'm, I'm, I don't like to say fan. I do listen to what he his podcast with Joe, with Joe Rogan, for example, I have read part of his book, uh, 12 Rules for Life. Mm-hmm. Um, I do believe that he has helped a lot of people get on their feet, get back from uh, whatever problems they had in their in their life. Has he um, helped you personally, or like were you having issues that he... Not particularly personally, I mean, I, I've always been motivated, so I just kind of agree with what he, with what he uh, talks about in his book, for example, about how to stay motivated, how to, how to keep your life in order. How order is so important, right. but uh, I've not seen any evidence that he would be a neo-Nazi, mm-hmm. or that he would that he would support the Nazis. And actually, I've, in in the in some of these um, podcasts that I've heard, that they do address this. You know, they do address that some people call you Nazi, like to, to talking to Peterson, uh, and mm-hmm. and like a casual claim, like yeah, you just yeah, ca- no ca- actual facts given uh-huh. to him, no actual facts presented, yeah. and challenging him yeah. just uh, or to to. Uh, to actually challenge his um, yeah. defense he, that he's not a supporter of Nazis. But he's he said that we should we should admire Hitler because he was an organizational genius. Do you do you agree that we should admire Hitler? No, I don't agree with that. Obviously. Do you, do you think that Hitler was an organizational genius? And if so, what was it that he organized that made him a genius? The German people at the time in the 30s, you know, they were going through an incredibly rough time, right? Uh, the economy of Germany was in rubbles. Uh, yeah. The whole... The Treaty of Versailles. The Treaty of Versailles, yeah, had them completely uh, unable to grow and, and unable to... Mm-hmm. to um, it was it was a matter of chaos. The society was in chaos. Exactly. And, and, Hit, and Hitler, Hitler brought Hitler order. Kind of, exactly, which is kind of... Did you hear that? Did you learn that from Jordan Peterson? No, he just said that and I agree with that. He did bring order, but he didn't bring the right, the right order. Obviously, which uh, is exactly what Peterson says. Yes. Well, no, but he doesn't. He doesn't say, okay, well, bring order by uh, by systematically murdering everybody or, or a group of people. He doesn't. As he's never said that. So what? So what he he said that Hitler was. If there's one thing that Hitler was good at, it was well, he order. Or, he, that, he that's a that's a that's a he quote. You know, to I, to do what? So he organized. Um, what did he organize them to do? To do evil, yes, that's true, but that doesn't make that doesn't but doesn't uh, make it doesn't make Hitler good. It, no, it doesn't. Um, because Peterson said he was good at it. Well, he would, that doesn't. Okay. He was good. He was an organizational genius. That's possible. That's I mean that that is what happened. I mean, I mean not everybody could have done what Hitler did, but that doesn't make him so, right. But a right in what he did. What you mean his organization of the Holocaust, for example? Yeah. But again, he was a genius at that. Yes, he was. I yeah. mean, the way he did it. Although, although I don't, uh, I don't think, um, I don't think, if the if the Nazis were not so focused on systematically murdering Jews, the Jews, they would have had a higher probability of of, of winning the war um, because they they put so much of their efforts into that. So I think I think that's actually just which, that was which is also what Peterson says. Did you also learn that from no, Peterson? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. That's my own thoughts. Okay. Um, I'm from Hungary, so we learned this about in history. Oh, you're from Hungary, okay. Yeah. All right, okay. Can I ask after your age, are you 16? No, <laughs> I'm much older. Oh, are you? Okay, yeah, all right, I'm okay. 22. Oh, you're 22, okay, all right, okay. Uh, okay, a youthful looking 22 year old guy. Okay, so, have yeah. you heard him call Hitler an, uh, a master of dark fire, a master of speech? I, have, I haven't, okay. The thing is, I haven't really listened to much of what his opinion on about Hitler. I haven't listened to that much do, of that. Do you know that he's defended two Nazi war criminals, Adolf Eichmann and Wilhelm Trapp? Eichmann? He defended Eichmann? Yeah. He said that he was in no way a psychopath. He was just a mama's boy who 
you know, had his, his mother did his laundry when he went off to the army. He didn't, he was just a guy, he was just a faceless bureaucrat, just a, you know, a technocrat. I mean, is, Eichmann Bragg, Eichmann said if we had killed all 10 million of the Jews listed on Himmler's uh, ch chart or his list, then I would have, that would have been wonderful. And he, he said that I'll, I can leap to my grave with joy knowing that I've played a part in the death of 5 million Jews. Who said that? I, Adolf Eichmann. So Peterson, Peterson, you know, said that he was in no way a psychopath, just a, you know, your typical bureaucrat. And I see. The thing is, you say this, and I don't know. I, I never heard him say it. So, like, it's hard for me to believe. That. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I can give you um, a, a document with forty-five instances of him praising, defending Adolf Hitler. Would you be willing to take it and read it? Um, let's talk about a few things. I, I have a few questions for you. If you sure, sure. So, you, you believe that Jordan Peterson? Um, has brought more evil to society than good? Oh, oh yes. Okay, why? Oh, I, I believe that he's evil incarnate. <laughs> I think that he's evil itself. I mean, he, he lists Have the... Have you read his book? I've read all of his books, yeah. Okay, so once you've read his main, most famous book, obviously, The Twelve Rules for Life, once mm -hmm. you've read that, did you... Um, in what sense was that... Did you feel uh, that that was an evil contribution to society? Well, he talks about the, something like the passion, or what do we feel when we see a, a, nation, a, a national socialist rally or something like this. He also quoted Mein Kampf. What self-help book has a lengthy quote from Mein Kampf? Um, he includes um, poet, poetry that's occultic, um, occultic poetry from uh, William Butler Yeats, the, the Second Coming, about the Antichrist. It's kind of strange thing to, to put in, a, uh, in any book, let alone a self-help book. Why would there be a long quote from Mein Kampf in a self-help book? It's kind of weird, kind of suspicious. Huh. Do you know what? Do you know what that book is about? Mein Kampf? No, no. Twelve Rules for Life. According to Peterson, what it's primarily about? Well, no, I haven't heard him say what. The, the Holocaust. He claim he claims that all of his books are principally about the Holocaust. And you just said what? As though you were surprised. Yet on stage, he said that like, Rule 9, I forget which one that, that one is, was about your, your understanding that you could be a neo-Nazi. Okay, but, but if But if you... But if, what it, what, it's true. No, okay, I'm not saying a neo-Nazi. <laughs> What's true is, if you were... But did you get that from reading the book? Did you read my comp Did you read 12 Rules for Life and think... I, I have ah, read comp before you have to read I also... Uh, uh, no, no, I mean, did you read 12 Rules for Life and think, ah, this book is telling me to... Getting me to realize that I could have been a Nazi. No, but it. But that's what he says okay, that it, it should does, have made what you. It, does, it's make me, yeah. it, does, it didn't make me realize that. Uh, the right, the the right leader at the wrong time, the wrong leader at the wrong time can, can make a lot of good people evil. Can make a lot of people do evil things, believe evil things. I have friends in Hungary right now. Okay, Orban is not nearly as evil as, as uh, Hitler was, but he is. Uh, he is racist he, and he is, uh, he, he, like, he, he hates the, all the immigrants, you that's, know, that's, that. and, and, do you, and do you know who met with him in a meeting? Jordan Peterson. Orban? Yes. Why would he meet with Viktor Orban in a meeting? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, I don't know. Isn't that kind of suspicious? Again, I don't know anything about that. Well, you can look it up. I'm not making up stories. Okay, there's, there's a photo of them together. It was oh, reported, yeah. it was reported by, um, a journalist whose name, um, eludes me at the moment. Yeah. So, but you, you can check it out. I'll, I'll check on that. Um, so, would you be willing to take an information sheet, like with forty-five examples of him praising Hitler, defending Hitler, you know dead fine Hitler? I, and then I come back and. Okay, you can go 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 and read it. Okay, and have a think about it. Yeah. All right. Are you around here often? No, 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 no. This will probably be the last time I'm here. But you can contact my emails on it. You can contact me if you'd like and tell me what you think. Okay. It's just an interesting point of view because I've never actually considered. I, I find it. I find the Nidoran Peters and Nazi. I find that you might think that I'm being ignorant, but I find that opinion to be uh, to be ignorant. But there's evidence. So in order to know if the claim were true, you'd have to examine the evidence. Exactly. I got to check that evidence yeah. out and see what it, so it's okay. actually. Okay. So keep an open mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, I mean, it, it could be that I'm making it up, or that I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Up. Yeah. Um, or it could be that I'm wrong. But there's yeah. just there's just too much evidence. So in fact, I've written a book about it called "The Devil and His Do: How Jordan Peterson Plagiarizes Adolf Hitler." It's rather a lengthy book. So. Um, but he's never. He has never told people to get together and systematically uh, start murdering people. No, that's true. 
He's not, and he's never alluded to that that he should do that. He said, okay, the um, thing he said about about, about uh, being a Nazi. But why does he praise serial killers? He also praises Karl Panzram. I think he just, I think he just likes intelligent people, and a lot of serial killers are intelligent people. I don't mean likes as in uh, as in admires or supports, as in um, likes to study because he's a, he, he likes to study the minds of. of for but is it normal to to praise and defend a serial killer? So Karl Panzram and the Columbine killers. He yeah. said that you know it's well, what what what, what they did is logical, reasonable. I given just yesterday, listened to the podcast where he talks about these killers and how how they're they're the most evil. That can come from they're, they're much more even than, set, than standard criminals because they don't just want, want to take something for example they don't want to take your car and no they, they, have, they yeah. want to burn your car yeah they want like the car my shooter just wanted to end the world it was an, he said it was an attack, it was yeah. an att- attack on god itself yes god himself and they so want I, to t- and they'll take themselves out as well it's that's yeah, their consequence yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah, i don't think he's supporting those do, do you think he might be signaling to people who are potentially like that while other people think that he may be warning against something like that, so do you see how do you see how do you see how it could be taken either way? So you might think that it's a warning, but if you were predisposed to to being like that, you might think that this was encouragement, which I think that it is. And he knows that it it could be taken as a as a warning. And this so is why would he want to encourage people to shoot up a school? Because he's demented. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, that's given that he keeps calling Hitler an organizational genius and says that the that he that the Nazis burned that Hitler burned the Jews beautifully and that the Nazis were un, it's on the paper and that the Nazis were unbelievably great at using fire to burn as a purification symbol, meaning to burn the Jews to purify Germany of the non-whites. That's true. It's true that that happened, and it's true that that's what the Germans are doing. Yes, but would, that... would you describe it as unbelievably great or beautiful? are quotes unbelievably great beautiful doesn't that sound a bit um what's the word crazy you're not aware of this and that's why you need to look at the evidence you can i, I just don't know i don't i don't think you would it's yeah, uh, the, 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 the there are co- there are, i cite the uh, their oh, sources oh, okay. so you can read the quote and think oh he didn't say that and then you can go look up the quote it's not even that when you're speak, when you're a public speaker, okay, I might sound like I'm defending him a little bit, but when you're a public speaker and you, you're a professor and you speak a lot for hours, you have you have hundreds, thousands of hours of. It doesn't of, matter. That's what Peterson at, says at too. At some point, you might you might. Slip you might up say and that say, the Nazis okay, burned the Jews beautiful, beautifully. But that's not what he means. He means no, it's never what he means. When he when he said that he that the, that Hitler was beautiful at burning the Jews, he must have meant that um, this weekend he was going to go to the Toronto Maple Leafs game with his family and watch them play the Philadelphia Flyers. What he, what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> what he probably meant was that the uh, the way they did it was okay. I don't. Okay. That's praise. It's called praise. Again and again and again, we see the pattern praise again and again and again. They were good at that. They were good at this. Hitler was good at speaking. He was good at listening. He, you know, he was good at drawing. He was good at reindustrializing the economy. He was good at so many things. He was good, good, good. Well, he was good at those things. Is the problem? It doesn't make me. It, I, you know, I think you're confusing good with evil. <laughs> okay, um. I could talk about this for a long time, but. Wasn't he a maniac? Wasn't he a psychopath? Well, wasn't that's he one of the. He lost he... the war. He, had, he made a lot of bad decisions. He was a maniac, of course. But. How is this good? How is this intelligent? How is this clever? Isn't he just an evil, primitive animal? It doesn't deserve an iota of respect from any decent person. Respect is different from, from uh, in my opinion, respect and acknowledging of, of intelligence. I don't think he was... Well, there's acknowledging intelligence, and then there's praising intelligence and repeated praise. I mean... You know, a history professor. What's the difference between praising and like in in, in a well, sentence? What would be the difference between praising and acknowledging? Well, you know, you praise. You, come on, you know what praise is. Yeah, but you say <laughs> Hitler was incredibly uh, intel. He Hitler was Hitler was unbelievably great at spectacle. This is another thing that he said. He was unbelievably unbelievably good at at. But he says these things again and again and again, like 
So just, just saying he was good at something, there must be like 12 or 13 statements about he was good at this. And then it goes up to great. He was great at this and unbelievably great. That's another one that he, he likes to use. And it, it's a pattern. He keeps using it. I mean, it's like talking about your favorite band. They're unbelievably great at live shows. They're unbelievably great at studio it's records. It's more like, it's more it's like, praise, it's more you know? like um, for example, you watch Dark Knight. Have you seen that film? I have not, no. Okay, well, it's the Joker. The Joker's in that movie. And, and, you, might, and uh, you might say at the end of the movie, wow, the Joker was incredibly good at, at ensuing chaos on the city. That doesn't mean that oh oh I pr like yes I praise his ability to see chaos. Sure, you have to you, would, I you would have to think with you have to think about it. Like you could say he's good at that. You could say it ironically. You could say it facetiously, casually, and so on. But if someone's praising it, you would know this by, for example, recognizing patterns or by just critically thinking about it. So so in my estimation, he's praising Hitler again and again and again and defending Hitler again and again. It's a pattern. He's been doing it for since at least 1996. I'll give you the evidence. Yes, but can, can I ask, are you interested in any other alt-right figures like Dave Rubin? Or, I, don't, I don't follow any of the alt-right. I think they're crazy. What about Joe Rogan? Is Joe Rogan not alt-right? No. no. Doesn't he have a lot of alt-right guests? Why does, mean, he, why does he, he interview has, people? He has, a lot, he has a lot of guests. He, I think he's a little... He's not alt-right, no. He is right center right I don't think he's all right I don't he's no no what why does he why does he in, in, uh, in, invite on uh, Alex Hitler Jones had, I mean if he was all right he wouldn't have black guests if he was all right he wouldn't have any uh, well as for the black guests, guests I mean he the what you know look what he said recently that what came up recently the recording with all the comments about the n-word how many n-words did he uh, has he delivered on that show why not uh, up it up it a bit? You know, like instead of listening to Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson, why not? I don't know. Find someone better to listen to, <laughs> or uh, you know, like writers or something. You know, real writers or uh, someone else. You probably write about uh, shit some more, but I don't think that um, <laughs> Joe Rogan is all right or Jordan Peterson is all right. Uh -huh. Do you so get? You think? Okay. Do you think right now the Conservative Party is Nazis? The Conservative example? Party? For example, yeah. The Canadian Conservative yeah. Party? No, I don't think that they're Nazis, no. But I think that there are um, uh, there are a couple of leaders who have sent Conservative, not uh, members, who have sent signals to white supremacists, I would say. There are a few of them there, but I don't think that it's... Maybe I'm just too young and too innocent to understand uh, uh, when I see neo-Nazism, but... Uh, uh, that's not like blatant in the, in the face, you know. Like, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I don't think like that. So when I, I don't, I'm not a neo Nazi myself. If I listen to podcasts up with a neo Nazi, I can't. Uh, what you, who you say is a neo Nazi, um, I don't interpret that as. as well, I'm only saying Peterson is a neo Nazi here. I'm not saying Joe Rogan is a neo Nazi, for example. He's all right, though. Um. I think he's he's alt right, or he's certainly, or he, at least he's a platform for a lot of alt right figures. So well, he's he is, de he he's, is, de he's definitely he's, straight, he's definitely uh, right wing. Yes, he is. Yeah, yeah. So I think I am too. But the thing is, I'm a right wing here, I think. But then I go to Hungary, and then all of a sudden I'm not right. In, I don't really know what that in Hungary, you're a liberal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's been good talking to you, and thanks for letting me record you. And. Uh, we didn't show your face, so and I'll give you the I'll give you the paper, okay? Sure. You, and you can you can take it away and read it, and right. you can chuck it in the trash, or you can think about it, no, or whatever yeah, yeah. whatever you want to do with I it. I like information. Um, do you okay. have a yeah. YouTube channel? Yeah, sure. So we're just gonna and this. Thank you very much. Sure.